Hey gang, Maria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com and today I've got three crucial exercises that are going to help with your on ice speed. So they are off ice drills that will directly translate onto the ice. This is a level two video. I'll give you the link to the level one video a little bit later on, but buckle up. Here we go. You will definitely want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to give you a little sneaky trick that makes these exercises even that much more transferable onto the ice. I also want to point out that your speed, your on ice speed is built upon a strong foundation of mobility, stability, and strength. So if you aren't doing the off ice training that helps you develop those qualities, this really isn't going to maximize your performance or you're not going to get maximum benefit out of the specific drills because you just don't have the tools in your toolbox so you should be working regularly on your mobility training and be doing a functional type of training which doesn't just mean kettlebells and bands it means training that is going to help you do what you need to do on the ice and then these are one piece of that puzzle let's get started with the first exercise the first exercise i'm going to give you is a lateral hop and stick for a two count so this one has a couple elements to it it has that initial power push from a standstill so if you're on the post and you have to push out it has that element but it also has a plyometric effect where there's a bang bang so there's a, a decelerate and accelerate quickly trying to get that quick transfer and then we're going to finish with a dynamic stabilization can you stabilize you've heard me say time and time again when i'm training agility deceleration to me is the first thing that i teach it's the it's one of the most important elements so we get all of that in this super simple drill. We're going to start on one leg. We're in a nice low power position. Everything is going to go this way. So we're not going to swing our arms back and counter rotate. Everything's going to go this way. It's going to be quick and then back and stick. So off this leg, I want to absorb and explode. I'm not just going to hit it stiff legged and pop back. I want to translate myself over and then come back and stick and hold and really nail that landing position with your good knee alignment having a nice strong torso not like flexing it as hard as you can but just bracing as if you're going to get punched in the in the belly a little bit will help everything move together be aware what are my hands doing? What's my other leg doing? When I come over here is it kicking behind me and then generating momentum that way? Well, that's not helping you. You're not gonna be doing that on the ice when you're going post to post. So where are my hands? They're staying with my body. You're gonna do three each way. And you're gonna stick that landing for at least three seconds. Again, that is a beautiful drill for you because it has that sort of overcoming inertia push. It has the plyometric decelerate, accelerate, then it has the deceleration to stabilization. So if you found that drill helpful, if you've like, oh, I never even thought of it that way. I just, you know, I thought of it as just a hopping drill. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up. Now we're gonna move into the next one and I asked for the thumbs up because you might not like this one quite so much. This is kind of a funny exercise because I hesitate to almost give it to you in a speed video because it's, as much about local muscular stamina as it is about speed. But that's one of the problems. When we get stuck on the post, the play's in the corner, that leg gets filled with, they say lactic acid, it really isn't, but it gets burning, let's just say, and it's fatigued. And so then we don't quite have the same power or we feel like we don't have quite the same power pushing off that post. It's going to be a quick step lateral hop to hold and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds so our quick step to lateral hop quick step boom lateral hop and then i'm going to hold this low position i'm not going to be way down here but i'm going to hold like a low low ready stance for a count of 10 let's say that's six seven eight nine ten and then from here i'm going to do my quick steps and right back again so i'm not generating momentum from my arms. I'm not starting the motion with a counter rotation. It comes from here. Everything pushes across and then comes back. And I'll hold again for 10 seconds. Say seven, eight, nine, 10. Quick step, power push back. 
Watch when we get over here and we do this power push that our shoulders don't get outside of our foot. That's an energy leak. And it might not even be that your torso or your core is weak. It might just be that you're not paying attention. You're not using the stability you have. So when you come over here, boom, everything comes back together. There's no dropping of your shoulder. Again, you're gonna do three of those each way with a 10 second hold after each quick step lateral push. Your next exercise is a half kneeling outer range push. It's helping you build explosive power outside of sort of the optimal range. Like this is a great position for us to develop power and push as hard as we can. This, not so much. Our muscles aren't in that optimum overlap. But if we can get really good at getting powerful pushes in this outer range, then we don't have to spend as much time recovering that leg to get a push from our butterfly. We're not gonna open up quite so many holes either. So we're gonna start with just this foot in the outer range position. It's a little bit funny. You have to be really quick with this lead leg or else you're gonna fall over. But it's just a quick, powerful push. We're not trying to give it all the juice we've got. We really just want to get that quickness over there. The temptation is going to be to lean over this leg before you push. So try not to do that. Think of your head in your hands. Hey, I'm going this way. Everything goes that way. And it's just quick and powerful like that. Now, once you get the feel for it, you can add some resistance to it. And, and in some ways, it, I don't want you to start with resistance. I want you to get the feel for it. But in some ways, having this resistance helps me get recover this leg a little bit quicker. But it's just that much. For this one, you'll do three sets of three repetitions each way. And it's a deliberate practice, just like I showed you. We're not trying to link them together. We're just trying to get that quick push, reset, quick push, Reset. Yuka Pekka in a couple of big stops to keep this game scoreless. I told you if you stuck around this long that I was going to give you a bonus drill. And it's not even so much of a drill, it's just a different way to do your drills. And, and just, again, don't confuse this with your speed and power training, your pure speed and power training. This is more of an agility reaction training, but it's just a way that we can add that read and react element to our game because it's one thing to know, okay, I'm gonna do a outer range lateral push now versus, oh, now the situation requires that I do that. So I'm gonna give you a really simple example, but I'm using an app. There is a free version and a paid version. The paid version is obviously nice because you can you know, save workouts and go through things, but the free version works really well too. It's called Switched On. I don't work for them. I don't have an affiliate code. I don't even know these people, but it's a fantastic um, app that I've used with goalies probably for the last five years. So when you come into the dashboard, there's different um, setups, but we're going to do something really simple. I, I've set up, you can set up your own pattern. So I'll have ones with goalies in the turning pro coaching program where it's like, even to keep it simple, it might be like this one we're going to do red, you're going to, I'm going to go to my right, green, I'm going to go to my left. But then I might also have numbers in there and it's like, okay, so red is going to your right, green is going to your left or whatever I said. Um, but then on odd numbers, you're going to go to your right and on even numbers, you're going to go to your left. So then it's not just like, oh, green, green, red, red. It's like, oh, okay, now there's a number. What is that odd or even? Which way do I go? Today, I'm gonna to show you just the super simple version. We're gonna go red and green. We're gonna start from stance, but you could also do it from your butterfly. And I'll give you an example of how to do that. If we're training, trying to be, train speed uh, with these things rather than stamina, then we wanna keep the work intervals quite short. We're gonna go 10 seconds, which actually is a little bit on the longer side, but you're gonna get 50 seconds of recovery. So you can rest, you can work on puck handling, you can stretch, whatever you want in that 50 seconds, as long as it's an active recovery and do not cut it short, please, <laughs> please. So let's have a look and see how this goes. Red is gonna be right, green is gonna be left, just to make it easy for me. So I have my phone set up just here and I have it so that it flashes the color and then there's a white space. So I have time to recover uh, before I start reacting. Green, 
red, green, red, green, green, red, red, green, green, red. So you can see how, and I have it off to the side a little bit, so I have to keep checking. So I could set it up if I really want to work on shoulder check, see who's hovering around the net. I could even set it up here to my side so that I have to keep checking. I could give myself a longer or a shorter reset interval. I could set that reset interval to a random amount of time so we don't know when the signal's going to come. I can have, <sighs> This is why we take 50 seconds of rest. But I, you know, I can have arrows, numbers, colors. Um, there's tons of patterns that we can do with it. I use it a ton in our off season stamina training so that they're working, but they're also having to keep mentally aware of what's going on. So again, that last drill isn't pure speed training. It's agility training. It's speed combined with a read and react or a task, but it's a great next progression. I just wanted to share it with you as this is a level two video. If you haven't done the level one video yet, then definitely check that out here. That's the place to start. It's this whole idea like you need to walk before you can run <laughs> sort of thing. So I know you guys are keen and you want to do the harder stuff, but please start with that foundation first. Uh, you know, three weeks maybe, and then move on to this stuff. So just to recap, today we did lateral hop and stick two count to get our initiation speed, a plyometric, and our deceleration dialed in. We did quick step lateral hop with an ISO hold to work a little bit of um, muscular, local muscular stamina, but also to get that quick initiation and get your whole body moving together. Then we did outer range lateral hop because it's just an area that we never train. It isn't biomechanically, it isn't our strongest position, but it's even weaker because we never ever bothered to train it. So let's start training that. And then I gave you this cool read and react thing using the app that is called Switched On. I'll also remind you that none of this stuff really will give you maximum benefit if you don't have that strong foundation of off ice training that includes mobility, which really is flexibility and stability uh, and functional strength. So give these drills a try, share your progress, drop a comment below, drop a comment below if you have questions about any off ice goalie training topics. I'm always happy to help you. Now is when I ask you to hit the like button uh, to subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have subscribed, hit the bell. I don't know why, but everyone says it so. Probably you should do it. And I will catch you next time. Same bad time, same bad channel. I was holding my breath too much. <laughs> Getting dizzy.